Good morning, students. This is uh, Mr. Mundi, the your commerce teacher. I'm here to give lecture on commerce, and the topic is uh, Nigerian Port Authority and uh, Nigeria Port Authority. But before I proceed, I would like to uh, make reference to the previous uh, lesson that is custom authority. Uh, it's uh, when we are talking about custom authority, that is uh, uh, the one of the uh, is a body uh, in the Ministry of Affairs, which are the they are the one assessing and uh, controlling the uh, assessing and the controlling the uh, internal affairs of the customer authority. So uh, we they are also uh, they are also collecting the uh, yields or the tax uh, on goods on importation of goods and exportation of uh, goods. So uh, that is uh, our previous uh, lesson. So let us uh, go to the topic for the day. Uh, the topic for the day is uh, Nigerian Airport Authority. That's a NNA and Nigerian Port Authority. That's a NPH. So uh, before I proceed, I would like to share this uh, objective, lesson objective with you, uh, my student. At the end of the lesson, the student should be able to define Nigerian Port Authority states the functions of Nigerian Port, Nigeria Airport Authority, and describe Nigeria Port Authority and its functions. So, uh, what is Nigeria Airport Authority? Uh, Nigeria Airport Authority is a statutory body charged with the responsibility of controlling. So, this is a body that control the affairs of the airports. And they are also managing these airports as well. Uh, they also provide adequate airport facilities. So uh, they make sure they provide all these facilities to the airports. And uh, uh, this uh, airport authority we are talking about, uh, we have international one. Uh, that is foreign airports in Nigeria here. And we also have local airport uh, in this country. That is a domestic airport authority. So the one of the examples or the example of this uh, international airport, or you can say foreign airport, is uh, Muritala Mohammed International Airport. And we also have Amiru Kano International Airport. Uh, these two examples are uh, for the international airport. Then we also have for the local uh, airports, and uh, the local airport, that's a domestic airport. We have Kadaba Airport and Porta Court Airport. All these two, all these two are examples of uh, local airports. So uh, this, uh, airport we are talking about we also have the functions of the uh, airport authority so let us look at the functions of the uh, airport authority the first one is the control domestic well, uh, they control the local airports in this country and they also look into the affairs of the international international airlines and that is foreign uh, airlines, so they are in charge to control, uh, to control the local and inter international airlines. And second, uh, we also they also provide parking space for the vehicles, so they make sure that they provide a special place for parking of the vehicles. Uh, number uh, the third one, the the, this uh, uh, this airport also provide facilities for the aeroplane to land uh, and 
and uh, they also provide uh, for the refueling for the supply of fuel uh, into the aeroplane and they also provide the takeoff so the takeoff uh, uh, starts from this uh, place uh, of the aeroplane so the fourth one they make sure that uh, they provide uh, for the repair of the damage of the aircraft and they also look uh, they also provide for the maintenance facilities for the damage of the aircraft so uh, the fifth one the airport authority provide warehouse this warehouse we are talking about is uh, uh, I mean is, is the storage of goods so the major they provide the storage of goods uh, before for the air, for the aeroplane uh, before uh, loading or offloading. Before the, the, the aeroplane we load, they will make sure that uh, they provide a special uh, storage of goods. And by the time they want to offload the goods from the aeroplane, they also provide special uh, warehouse for this uh, uh, for this uh, uh, for this uh, aeroplane. So the sixth one is uh, the airport authority look into the environmental sanitation. They make sure that uh, the uh, airport is always clean. They ensure that they make sure that uh, the airport is always uh, 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 clean. So uh, the seventh one, the last one, the airport authority provide office accommodation for the uh, officers in the airport the uh, for the, uh, the for the for the officers or can say for the security men in this uh, airport they provide accommodation for the customs of, uh, for the custom officers immigration officers police officers and other agents including the uh, including the the Worker, uh, the security men working there, and the uh, uh, the passengers, they provide accommodation for them. So uh, that is uh, the uh, functions of airport uh, authority. Then let us look at Nigerian ports authority. Uh, this Nigerian uh, Nigerian port authority. Is a federal government agency that governs and operates ports. They make sure that uh, they uh, try to govern the ports of the country of Nigeria. They, they, they also pro, uh, they are into the management. Uh, what I'm talking about management, that is planning, controlling the effectiveness of the operation of the seaports in uh, in the country so they look to the management the control and general operation of the seaport in nigeria are also handled by the uh, the the nigerian port authority that is uh mpe so they make sure that they handle the general operation of the seaport in the country the port authority also provide facilities uh, at the port to ensure effective and uh, uh, for effective and efficient sea transportation. So they make sure that they provide the effective and efficient uh, sea transportation. Uh, they, what, we also have the uh, example of uh, Nigerian Port Authority. We have it in the uh, Lagos uh, ports. Uh, the Gosport, and we also have it in Calabar. I mean, in Port Harcourt, we have it in Nigeria, uh, in Lagos, Lagos Port, and Port Harcourt ports. They, they also provide this, uh, uh, these following facilities uh, at seaport. So they provide it for, they provide all these facilities at the seaport. Uh, the first thing that we are talking about is they provide for the beds, uh, boats, cranes, uh, forklift, trailers, 
Quahar, Wolf, as well as uh, Avos. So all these are facilities that being provided at the seaport by the, the port authority. So the providing for them, uh, 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 which is very, very necessary for the for the operation for the effective operation of the uh, of the uh, of this uh, uh, of the seaport in Nigeria. So let us look at uh, the functions of MPE as a Nigerian port authority. The first one, the port authority provide facilities. Uh, they make sure that they provide it because all these facilities are needed in the port. They provide for the berths, cranes, forklifts, and navi navigational aids. So they provide for the uh, they provide all these fa facilities at the uh, at the ports. So for the effectiveness and the effective effectiveness of the uh, of the uh, of the sea ports. So secondly, the authority is also responsible for the improvement of ports. So for any improvement, uh, uh, for any improvement of the port, so the authority are responsible to provide uh, for this uh, facility. They make sure that they provide for the uh, dredging. Uh, that dredging will make it uh, easier for the ship to pass. Uh, so they uh, they provide uh, all these. Uh, uh, I mean, all these facilities for the ships. So uh, thirdly, the port authority also collect abo. Uh, so as the custom authority also collect their own uh, dues. So at the port authority, they also collect the dock dues. We call it dock dues or abo dues. Can collect, can call it abo dues or dock dues. So it is necessary for them to collect all this because that one will serve uh, as an, uh, a basic income to the uh, to the port authority. So uh, the fourth one, the authority provide warehouse. So they make sure that they provide for uh, a, for uh, the warehouse, the storage of these uh, uh, goods, and they provide warehouse facility at the dog yard. So which is very, very, very important for them uh, to provide. Uh, the fifth one is uh, the port authority also takes care of loading and offloading of uh, vehicles. So they make sure that uh, if uh, they make sure that they take, they take care, they take good care uh, for the loading and offloading of uh, vessels to so other ports. So, uh, then uh, the sixth one is uh, the port authority provide office accommodation for immigration officers. So they will provide a special place, a special office for the immigration officers, custom officers, uh, shipping uh, companies, as well as the police operating at the port. So all these people are security men, and there is need for the Port authority will provide a special offices for all the services. So, uh, the seventh one, the port authority provide uh, refueling that is supply of fuel to the uh, to the ships or the cargo. So they provide and they look into the maintenance facilities. Uh, so they provide all these uh, facilities for the ships, cargoes. Uh, which is very, very important, and the, uh, the authority ensure they provide all these facilities for, the, for them. So lastly, the port authority provide security. Uh, they provide security to monitor the movement. Ah, there's need for uh, the authority to provide the security. Uh, all the security, are the one that will monitor the uh, movement of these ships, of these cargoes, and people 
within and around, around the nation spot. So, uh, and they also look at uh, they also look at the administration of the uh, of this uh, uh, of this authority. So they look at the administration, they look at the management, and they make sure that uh, there's what is called a good uh, effectiveness of and then the plan uh, the administration of this uh, uh, port. So uh, that is what I have for you this morning. Uh, I wish the best of luck. The uh, let me uh, the recommend the recommended textbook uh, for this subject as commerce is commerce for senior secondary school. Uh, so it's very very good and. Uh, go to the school website as well and you see the assignment concerning this topic so uh we say the best of luck uh in this subject and the other subjects so see you bye for now So, bye.